Hi, I'm Dr. Doug Stein. Recently, at the annual meeting of the American Neurological Association in Orlando, I joined the staff of the vasectomy store and made a medical and tried to help visitors learn a little bit more about no needle, no scalpel vasectomy. Part of that was demonstrating the Metajet, and I was pretty surprised at how many of our guests had ordered Metajets and never used them because the logistics of setting up the Metajet and sterilizing at night, sterilizing the Metajet at night, um, was a little intimidating to them, or they just hadn't gotten it into their routine. So somebody said, why don't you put that on a video? So here I am putting it on a video. We wrap our Metajets in a sterile blue towel and um, put that wrapped Made a jet into a standard sterilization pouch. I'm now preparing this made a jet for use. Today. So I open the pouch, discard that. Now the made a jet is rolled up in a sterile towel and it is sterile. And as soon as I touch it, it's no longer sterile. So this is the um, head of the made a jet. It's still sterile on the inside because I haven't touched it. And this is the fill chamber. So I'm going to assemble them. They're still sterile on the inside. And now I'm going to fill the fill chamber to oh about a centimeter or a centimeter and a half of the rim with whatever I'm using for my anesthetic. In this case it's 2% lidocaine. But if you wanted a little bit more time you could use a 50-50 mixture of 2% lidocaine and half percent bupivacaine. Now I'm going to prime the Meta Jet. Now the extended tip just fell off, but that's because it just hadn't been screwed on enough. Let me get that just like so. Again, this is not sterile on the outside. So I'm going to prime it. You can see that the fluid is passing through. Now I screw this on. This happens to be an angle tip made a jet. They seem to work just fine it, um, in contrast to the straight tip. I'm going to tighten the extended tip onto the made a jet head and now cock the Meta Jet and make sure it's firing appropriately. You can see that the stream is nice and strong and thin and there's no leakage around the seal between the extended tip and the Meta Jet head. Working fine. This is the spacer, um, sometimes called the, uh, the extended tip sheath, which does two things. It provides a certain distance between the very tip of the exiting stream and the skin and also the tip is fluted so that we can lift the vas right into that fluted tip when the tip is laid down onto the scrotum providing very good accuracy in um, delivering our anesthetic to the body of the vas. Then the Meta Jet can be slipped into a Meta Jet holder which is filled to about here with Meta Side so that the tip is soaked, you can see it dripping here, is soaked in metacide between patients. And that's it. It's really as simple as that. On another video, I'll show how I disassemble the Meta Jet at the end of the day and prepare it for sterilization.